We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Mike McDaniel and his play design and how he's been just a trendsetter in this league with this, you know, whether it's his concepts or just, you know, slight little wrinkles within the play, uh, little things that teams really have taken a liking to and taken advantage of. And there's a lot of concepts that he's really built upon, like this, you know, cheetah motion, cheat motion, whatever you want to call it, and how it's built into the part of the run game. It's used on the seam real slide RPO, which I'm not showing here, but then it's, you know, the screen game, the dagger, which is like the big part. Uh, other concepts like this, the spinner counter, which, you know, he's taken a liking to the fake dive toss uh, with the same, you know, blocking up front. Like it's still, you know, a pretty basic play design with just these tiny little changes, you know, that teams around the NFL started stealing from or they haven't yet. They're going to, uh, you know, he his first season at seam real slide RPO was like his big go to. And then you have like this tight end, you know, swing screen where he's like becomes like this lead blocker on space. Dolphins used it to success for multiple times last year. Then I started seeing other teams start taking advantage of it. This momentum double team right here. Uh, this is more of like a Shanahan kind of thing. But I really think McDaniel started to uh, popularize it this year. Played an effect into it. And uh, the way that he kind of turned a lot of these plays. Or just like tiny little play design things that change. That just help out your offense. That other teams started stealing. Uh, that makes a... Him a very exciting to watch. I'm excited to see how it plays into the to the team next year because there's just these little details that change the play calling. And then I still don't. I think these won't be like the main parts of the team. It'll still be part of the playbook. But he always comes up with something completely new uh, every single year. So breaking this down, you know, they have Tyreek align in the wing pretty much on all of these concepts. You know, you can use this with Waddle too. But this is like the Tyreek play. You get him going out quick out. This puts the defense in so much conflict. Uh, with these like quicker motion to give them less less time to communicate and pass things off which is they did this in week one and teams started doing it and then uh really comes off with the dagger it also allows Tyreek to build up this momentum and he can get to top speed so fast that he only needs those you know couple steps uh the big dagger and it just creates all this space they ran this so much throughout the season and then this just turned into more and more different you know little wrinkles that you could use out of this i'm not going to show all of them but uh so many different play calls you can take advantage of. That's like the big one right there. That dagger, uh, the space created, the pressure it puts on the defensive backs to communicate, pass things off. They do this on their seam rail slider peel, which I'm not showing. And then here's the screen to waddle. Where it ends up becoming like a tunnel screen to waddle after the, you know, the cheat motion with Tyreek after being from the wing. They even do this in a different way later on where Tyreek ends up sitting right here and becoming the screen guy. But this time it goes to waddle on the tunnel screen. Uh, just... So many different ways teams play aggressive and if you keep them on their feet with all these different play calls it just puts a lot of pressure on them and you know when Tyreek's going out a lot of eyes and focus will be on him they gain the steps and then uh you have all these lead blockers out in space off of it and waddle can go to work and when you have that speed he just has so many weapons to play with and even became part of the running game you know the quick g motion where Tyreek ends up becoming basically a lead blocker out to the uh pass here and then they uh block down crack toss Use this in all of your different concepts lead. And then now Tyreek's blocking a, a corner out in space off of that, which is super exciting. Definitely, I would say the, I feel like the probably the most popularized concept last year was like this squatting receiver, basically as your wing, get going out in a cheap motion. Sometimes it's a one step, sometimes it's a few steps. Dolphins used it in many, many different ways. Timing and leverage are so important to the offense that it just gives you a little uh, better timing within the play and gives you better angles to win on your route concepts. Um, and then that's one I feel like kind of every fan saw last year. Here's the spinner counter. Uh, pretty basic up front when you look at it like blocking wise. Blocking wise, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, you're just running counter up front. But then you have the motion here. This is A-Chan working like he's going to orbit motion around. And this is something that's good because the Dolphins like to run like these basically. They even do this out of the backfield too where... They behind the back handoffs or it becomes like an end around reverse type thing. And then you have most are counter stepping. But with this spin happening, it puts like linebackers with poor eye discipline. Now we're caught looking in the backfield when they should be reading the pulling offensive line because they're down, these guys are down blocking. These two are pulling across to kick out. And then you're just running the spinner counter, which uh, McDaniel also, you know, with the concepts he's called, he's used these other types of looks. So now when you add this spinner counter action up front where you can hand it off to your running back after doing all of these things behind the back where Tua does turn a lot of the time like that in shotgun most quarterbacks you you'll notice that i play later on most quarterbacks don't turn like this to hand it off in shotgun behind them so then now when you can turn it into a counter to hand it off this way 
and there's other plays you can kind of build off of this as you'll see later on it's very very impressive um, and they block it up very well up front and these linebackers just look how it freezes them they're so late look at all four of these defenders dbs everyone's so out of position this is really poor play by the broncos and the dolphins absolutely took advantage of it and early on i think this is a big reason you see the dolphins had a lot of success early on is because teams have no idea how to game plan against mcdaniel it takes them like a while to figure it out and then he keeps adding details this is one that came a little bit later on uh dolphins are a big crack toss team they love to run crack toss you can see crack toss down um this started happening around the washington game so uh second half of the season they started running this like fake dive where tua opens up the opposite way he's gonna pitch it um they're still blocking it up front like how you would block crack toss whether you know you're pin and pulling or like outside zone basically climb to the second level down block there but then they give like this little fake uh hesitation here like they're gonna run it's almost like a counter step and then boom the running back goes to the toss to the opposite side of the field it's just like tiny little wrinkles that he adds that um and this one didn't even take like the league by storm because he started doing it later in the season so teams didn't like take it but i feel like you're gonna start seeing this more and more in the nfl um also you have like the motion going with the play here you can do other like, tiny little wrinkles he doesn't run just like the same exact concept because that motion went with the play to be like a lead blocker this time he has the receiver motioning away from the toss uh, to like kick out the guy they leave unblocked here you know kind of hesitate to it and now you can build even more plays off of this uh get the momentum because when you do this look at like just this motion makes the linebackers have to reset before the play their gaps shift and then Tua doesn't even waste too much time he just gives like a little hesitation he opens up this way and a chan a little hesitation they started doing it faster and faster as the season went on because it's the last game of the season um it's still the fake dive but it's just a little hesitation boom toss now a chan gets out in space uh gets a one-on-one -on -one with a safety and he absolutely takes advantage of that so love all these little wrinkles this one's one of my favorites uh this play design they do it in multiple different ways you'll see with most uh with uh derm smythe, smythe in the next play that they orbit motion this time it's just a clear motion across more like a jet and then uh you can still run your play off of this like look two is trying to skip, see if he gets one-on-one -on -one to tyreek here but he sees the safety go over to play too high sees it's too high comes down this is a third and seven by the way so this is like one of his last options uh he looks over the middle sees this is an open so he throws it in the flat to raheem this guy is a swing so it's a tight end swing screen with that motion played into it with that however you want to do the motion you have multiple different looks so it's not always just super easy for the uh defense to see Moser ends up scoring on the play because he has a clear lead blocker on space but it's not like a screen where it's a bunch of alignment going in there and the whole defense is flooding at it it's just like a guy that looks like he's running a route as well that ends up being a blocker for him. So that's a very nice play design, something I didn't see uh, very often last year. And I started seeing, you know, more teams throwing this in there. I even saw, you know, some college teams doing it at some points. Uh, this time it's the orbit motion around with the tight end, which you don't see. You don't see a lot of teams motioning tight ends a ton. Uh, Dolphins do it a bunch. They motion more than any team in the NFL. And uh, McDaniel does it a whole ton. And it's like Tua... He's looking over here. There's a Tyreek's running a fade. He sees that it's not open. He just takes it off, throws it back to Moser, gets a one on one. Uh, really, really nice because even like he gets just a blocker here. So Moser's not even be covered by anyone because it's just he has a two on one advantage. But even if it's a two on two, then that just leads to Moser having to be one guy out in space because if the blocker gets his job done, then it becomes a one on one in space. Um, and if they give more numbers there, then you have the advantage to still go in other places. Uh, McDaniel, definitely an expert in his play design, loves the wrinkles. Momentum double team. We're only show one example here, but they did this in other games. There's the Carolina play. They do this where Moser has a huge run here for Achan. Ends up being the double team. And this is like a crack toss double team. They do this in a couple different ways here. They're cracking down on the DB. Momentum double team. So Smythe drops his shoulder into him. And then you're having Julian Hill. They love to do this with Julian Hill. Motion across, build the momentum. And then boom, take on Owe, block him out of the way. And then now the guy that was blocking him on the outside is now releasing to get to the corner really well executed up front like ideally how you want it just throw your shoulder into him and then once he slows down that edge take him out of the play and when they build this moment it always just catches them off guard because they're always expecting to get squared up here they get just a little bit of that tight end and they never see this guy coming blows him out of the play i've seen julian hill put a bunch of edges now you know on their ass from this type of play and then h hand breaks it loose with a bunch of space to work with this is a kind of play that you could give mcdaniel or shanahan credit to they both uh kind of used it a lot last season but 
I saw Dolphins have some big plays come out of it. Now, this is an interesting one. This one ends up being like a screen with the center. Dolphins ran this a couple different times last year. They ran it to A-Chan uh, in a game later on in the season a couple times. This one to Ahmed, it works. it works really well versus the, the Blitz. And it basically just turns into like, looks like he's going to run a swing. Basically ends up being like an angle route from the running back. I love this concept because I love running angle routes. You get a one-on-one -on -one in space with your linebacker. But if it comes out quickly and since, like look at the angle he runs this angle route. Usually you're going to get more out of a 45 and then break on your one-on-one. -on -one. He gets out like he's running a swing almost. Or he's going to run a wheel then breaks it across. Which the timing of this is very important because you don't want to do this too far down the field. Because if he does this farther down the field, then it will get called. But with the timing, he throws it. It gets caught as Connor Williams, who's the center here, leaks out into space. Love the timing and the concept of this. Uh, very, very unique play. I don't know exactly what McDaniel calls this. Uh, I haven't seen. I've seen some playbooks for these other plays. So I know like the spinner counter is called at the moment into double team. That's the name. The motion is called a few different things. Uh, that play, not too sure, but. Uh, definitely an interesting concept the Dolphins ran, and they ran it to pretty good success when they did. This one was a touchdown. They ran it to A-Chan, and I think it, from a similar yard line, he got down to the one. Uh, so used, worked well a couple different times. Uh, he has a lot of those different types of plays in the playbook. This one, nothing too crazy with the concept. Dolphins love to run these quick hitters. They do it, you know, from under center. They'll do it from shotgun. Now, this is, like, why I want to talk about this. Because imagine you have two backs in the backfield, which they do here, but not a fullback. Um, imagine if that, like, this is how you can work the spinner counter without even a motion, just having two backs in the backfield, two running backs. Say he fakes it here. But this is something that Dolphins started doing a ton last year, was handing them, handing off the ball almost on like a toss, but turning your back away, because this creates, like, play action almost like it's under center, but you're in shotgun. So it, it puts more pressure on the defense, because they see the back of the quarterback. It also helps with the timing. And sort of the rhythm of the the play design when it comes to the passing game to turn this out of play action. Everything just feels a little more smooth. He doesn't have to gain as much depth, but everything, you know, allows things to develop a little bit more. And then uh, it really slows down the pass rush and the second level bites a little bit harder on these play action calls. And this is not something I've seen a ton of uh, before McDaniel started doing it. So I really think he sort of revolutionized the the behind the back play action or just handoff out of shotgun where he turns around almost like he's under center eight, uh, simulates that so I love that sort of little wrinkle that he adds to play because he still runs like his same concepts out of this that you're always going to run you know the quick little uh, hitter over the middle of the field to Smythe but yeah very impressive and this is another example of how you can take advantage of that spinner counter look the behind the back stuff that you're going to hand it off the sweep this guy's motion across Tyreek's in his typical wing spot. So now you're building off of this with your motions. He quicks, you know, goes quick out, but he doesn't this time. And it ends up, boom, quick toss, shovel forward. Uh, becomes basically a pop pass like this when he's spinning around. I mean, it takes, a lot, honestly, some skill out of Tua to, to work this. But all these play designs worked off of each other. Uh, it didn't even work like as well as it could have, but still ends up gaining about five yards, even though they cover it up pretty well. Uh, they ran this a few other times, and it worked pretty well, usually picking up around 10. Uh, this is something that is pretty pretty unique, and it ha gives more defenses things to look at. So when Tyreek is in this squatted position as like a wing, he's not just doing that motion out every time, and it can turn into other things as well. Uh, very, very interesting uh, with the play design from McDaniel. Love that stuff. And then the last play I want to take a look at, nothing too crazy here. Um, Dolphins doing, uh, you know, I think ends up running like the deep dagger here. But I want to talk about the footwork within the pocket. They love to just like slide across and then bring a guard across to block the other way. So like how they do this blocking in front but with the play action. And then he opens up his hips like he's going to become a righty quarterback. And not a lot of QBs can do this. I think Tua does it really well. A lot of the Shanahan QBs do really well with uh, with their footwork within the pocket. This is something Purdy does um, where they open him up the opposite way. That video went viral last year of when Lamar played versus the Dolphins of Lamar opening up the opposite way. And they were like, I've never seen that before. This is something the Dolphins have been doing for under McDaniel for a couple years now, um, where they open up like this. The Shanahan QBs do it. So this is something I just wanted to point out that this is something that has started to get catching on because I saw that Lamar video go, but this is something uh, that just puts defenses in a bind. They see him open up this way, um, eye discipline, and he's able to reset very quickly, deliver a strike over the middle, gets completed on the dagger to Tyreek there. But yeah, really, really enjoyed going through and looking at all the different things McDaniel's able to 
do, it's very, very impressive. His play designing is so good. And just the little wrinkles he's able to then build off of, like, the way, like, he ran, I think, this motion with Tyreek. I think it was a total of, like, seven times in week one. And they ran a lot of this dagger out of it or, like, similar, like, and even then it turned, like, just basic stuff, like, where this motion with Cheetah ends up not being a dagger. It ends up being, you know, a deep comeback where he creates a lot of separation. You can just run so many of your plays off of this, and then you have your little wrinkles that turns into screens to multiple different guys. It's really impressive. So if you guys know the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Peace.